I'm Chapter 7 above DPD headquarters as protesters hit the streets for the 12th day following George Floyd's death. Those protesters demanding change in the Detroit Police Department meeting with Mayor Mike Duggan and Police Chief James Craig today. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kernzler is live at the protest. Hey Jim, how did that meeting go? You need to use your activism both sides say it was uh, an interesting discussion. They don't agree on the major points. And right now, the leaders of this group are meeting with the group of protesters. They will decide as a group what the next moves are, if they will continue meeting or if they will continue marching night by night. That's still unresolved. They're passing the mic right now as part of this discussion. They went into the closed meeting with the mayor, police chief, and other city officials with a rather long list of demands. But at the top, Top, defunding and demilitarizing the police after they prioritized the it. Did city days. officials agree with that? that? Not the way, ladies and gentlemen. The way that we. <laughs> yeah, that's the short answer is no. Take a look at the armored personnel carrier rolling out on protesters early on, 10 days ago. Protesters say this is one example of demilitarizing the police. There's a conversation about, oh, does the city of Detroit have tanks or are they specialty units? And well, as far as I'm concerned and the people on the streets are concerned, tanks are tanks. I don't want to get ahead of my skis and say something about defunding or demilitarization that uh, the chief and the mayor might disagree with. Mayor Mike Duggan has declined to meet with the entire group of protesters. As a way to call him out, the movement leaders say Mayor Duggan does not want to end up like the mayor of Minneapolis when he told protesters at the site of George Floyd's death he would not defund police. The Red Sea was parted too so that he can have this like terribly long walk of shame. It was actually pretty miraculous and amazing. And I think that that's why they're afraid. So I disagree with that. Um, uh, what the mayor has always done is taken any meeting that he's been invited to mostly. What he has asked for is an agenda. Both sides say they agree on the need for improvement in affordable housing homeless and other social issues. But how long will they continue talks? How long will protesters be willing to take to the streets to get their demands met? Everybody on the outside think it's a great thing that he sat down with the mayor and trying to negotiate those things. But if you look at the, his list of demands, it's not even reasonable. There's going to be a lot of politics. There's going to be a lot of them trying to hang stuff over our heads, say we can do this, we can do that, but we want everything to happen that we planned out here in these streets. I don't expect change. I don't expect Dugan to do anything about any of this. I really don't. I think this is going to be an uphill battle. What were you thinking when you were in Now, Detroit Mayor Trump Mike Duggan told us yesterday that this group and this group alone will not determine Detroit's future you. moving forward. That's he says there are other stakeholders the in the community that will be part of the ongoing conversation. Waiting. The next moves of this group to be determined, but they plan to march on night number 12 tonight. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Yes, Jim, the discussion continues on that topic. Thank you. As protest